All right, uh, last but not least, let's take a look at problem five, which will round out our first set of notes. So the following data are available for a gas. So, um, so we're given TPV data. Um, both rows correspond to data at the same temperature, but different pressures. To calculate the molar volume at 25 degrees C, so at the same temperature in 12 bar, your team came up with two different suggestions. A, linear interpolation for V between the given pressure, or B, linear interpolation for the density, rho equals 1 over V between the two pressures. Which method do you recommend and why? Under what conditions is your recommendation accurate? All right, cool. So basically, um, they just want you to think about um, the data uh, at hand and try to bring in some insight based on what you know. So um, we have... Uh, data for a gas uh, at the same temperature, but two different pressures. So we have molar volumes at two different pressures, common uh, temperature. Uh, we're trying to interpolate between those two pressures. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind to me is if I were to assume an ideal gas, okay, so if we assume ideal gas, okay, ideal gas equation state is PV is equal to RT, okay, so P is equal to RT over V. Okay, so looking at our data here, um, R is constant and T is constant. So what that tells me is that P is going to be proportional to 1 over R, which is just density, right? The inverse, inverse of uh, molar volume or specific volume would just be uh, density. So P uh, is proportional to rho. Okay, so if I were to assume an ideal gas, right, um, or just ideal gas equation of state in general, suggests that P scales with density. So if I were to use linear interp interpolation, I should interpolate with respect to density uh, and not volume. Okay, uh, in terms of under what conditions is your recommendation accurate, um, it's going to be, you know, under conditions in which your ideal gas uh, equation of state is, is a good approximation. Or just in general, if I were to look at real fluids, okay, then we have PV is equal to ZRT, okay, so P, okay, RT is my constant, then we have Z over V, okay, so so long as I assume that Z doesn't change much, um, say over a range of pressures, um, or that Z is, is practically constant, um, then it'd be the same, right, it's still going to be P is going to uh, scale with respect to 1 over V, or it's just more so that Z over V uh, is going to scale better with, so P is going to scale better with 1 over V than it would directly with, with V. So um, your you know, interpolating with respect to density would be exact uh, for the case of an ideal gas. Um, but in general, uh, should looks like it should be reasonable uh, as long as Z doesn't change much uh, over P. Um, and even at that, it's going to be a better um, methodology than interpolating with respect to V. Okay, so I'd say use density uh, inverse V. Okay, and so again, even for real fluids, P is going to be RT is zero, where RT is constant. Okay, so so long as Z um, doesn't change much with P, uh, then it's going to be fairly good. And that's it.